What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know Big Boss Hog, Boss Dog, Cake Po, through the door, here to talk this bullshit. Nah, box. <laughs> uh, so, a bud buddy came my comment section, start crying on my video, and said these things. Boss, you're a bud hater. You only want to see Terrence Crawford lose. You're mad because Earl Spence lost. And you only you're making all this money on Bud Crawford's name. Bah, you're hate bud. All your videos are hate bud speech videos. You just do everything to talk bad about Terrence Crawford. You don't know anything about boxing. Bah. That's how he sounded when he was writing that shit. Let me tell you something, bro. I'm getting tired of you, bud buddies. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm tired of the emotional. I'm tired of these grown men and I'm crying on videos. First of all, y'all writing paragraphs to another grown man, bro. Like, that stuff, that stuff your girlfriend do when she mad at you. Y'all ever had a, your girlfriend mad at you and she write you a long text message? You like, damn. That, that's, that's what, that, that's what they doing. I never thought in a million years, I'm not going to lie to you, and I, I, y'all know me, I keep it thousand. That I would see grown men act like this. And it's a shame. This is why I don't like the 2020s. I don't like this rainbow flag. Let me, let, me, let me watch what I say. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that stuff, bro. It's like, bro. Man, I came up with men with men. These boys soft. They had videos crying in the comment section. That's step one. Step two. You got grown men talking gangster. On the internet. I, bro, you, you do know you on the internet, right? I come from that era where dudes, you said something, they come see you. We come, hey, bro, what you mean by this right here? That's what happens. The only reason these dudes talking like that is because they on the internet. Because I'm telling you, if you saw me, you wouldn't say the stuff you were saying. That's real talk. Take it or leave it. So that's number three. Number four. Learn your boxing before you talk to boss. Right? Do your homework on boss before you talk to boss. I keep telling y'all, man. When I gave my fight prediction, I sat there and said, where's Terrence Crawford can win? And he did exactly what I said he needed to do to beat Earl Spence. I gave ways for Earl. Only thing I got one is I just picked Earl to beat Terrence Crawford. I gave ways for Earl to win. I gave ways Terrence Crawford to win. Terrence Crawford did exactly what I said he needed to do to beat Earl Spence. What are we talking about here? These are the things that I talk about and, and, and I'm saying. He did exactly what I said. I said, man, Bud need to look to counter Earl Spence. Look to box Earl Spence and counter him. Do not stand in front of Earl Spence. He didn't stand in front of Earl Spence. He used angles, changed angles up, right? Was sharp, countered Earl Spence. That's what he needed to do. If he tried to outdog Earl Spence, he was going to lose. I said that. He fought with this instead of this. That's how he beat Earl Spence. Right? So like I keep saying, at the end of the day, spade a spade, keeping it a thousand, keeping it two thousand, right? Forget a thousand, two thousand. Where is the bud head at? No, they talk about, oh, you talking about how bud contradicts himself. That's because he does. Tell me a time when Bud didn't contradict himself. You see what I'm saying? He just contradicted himself recently. So what are we talking about here, bro? Like these are the things I be talking about. The problem is y'all Bud buddies ignore the facts. You have to keep it a thousand. You can't ignore shit in boxing because you like a fighter. I don't give a damn. When that rumor came out about Errol Spence, possibly leaving Derek James, 
I said that ain't solid of arrow if that's true. And that's what it is. I sat there and I said these things. Why? Because that's the truth. If Earl Spence left Derrick James, right? If he sat there and left the coach, because I don't support guys who leave their coach that got you to where you are. You see what I'm saying? When you start moving around like that, that's not good for you. That's not beneficial. You know what I mean? That's just my perspective. I don't support that. I don't agree with that. Especially if he's a good coach. I get it if it's like a coach that, you know, is mediocre. But you got a coach like Derek James who got other pro fighters, top pro fighters, signing to him, right? Also, he has an undisputed fighter already, a Jamel Charlo. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's doing something right. Right? And you've beaten top guys up with this man in your corner. You ain't beating no scrubs. You beating top guys. You destroying top talent. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said before, when it comes down to this thing called boxing, you got to ride and slide with the guy that got you there. Derrick James got you to where you are. So stay with the guy that got you where you are. That's that's facts. Terrence Crawford, right? This is another fact information. I'm cooking right now. Terrence Crawford does not have the resume, right? The only fighter he has fought is Errol Spence. That's what it is. Take it or leave it. People want to ignore the facts and they want to ignore... You know, or they want to listen to his analogy of, oh, I fought top guys. You know, I, I, you know, people, no, you didn't. You ain't fought those names, bro. The only name you fought is Errol. And that's what it is. That's just truthful information. He knows that. He's acknowledged that. If he fought those names, he wouldn't have left top rank. He would have stayed with top rank. He would have stayed with them and would have been able to keep on moving he would still been fighting on espn doing this thing he left why because he said out his own mouth y'all couldn't get me the top fights so what does that mean what does that mean right there that means he's admitting that i ain't fought those names i ain't got i, I couldn't get top competition so what are we talking about here this is the problem that i have with the Bud Buddies. Y'all want to pick and select. Y'all have selective hearing. I look at y'all as like Joel Osteen. I don't know if y'all know who Joel Osteen is. He's a big preacher down here in Houston. Joel Osteen only talks about certain things in the Bible, which are the good things. He don't talk to you about the bad things in the Bible. He don't talk to you about, hey, if you do this, you're gonna die. You know what I mean? Or hey, you got you can't be fornicating. You can't do that. No, he don't talk about that. He talks about only and highlights only the good things in in, in the Bible, right? That's what y'all doing. Y'all have a selective hearing on what y'all want to hear because y'all love Terrence Crawford. You're not a fan of boxing. You're a fan of Bud, and that's just what it is. But when you tell a bud buddy this, they get butt hurt. Oh, I, I know boxing. I've been watching boxing for so and so years. No, that don't mean shit. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. When you live this, I've been in that ring. I prepare for fights. So when I watch fights, I've also gotten into coaching these fights. So like, like I say, when I get in my, my, my bag when it comes to these fights, Y'all not ready to have these conversations with me. I don't have no issues with Terrence Crawford. He's a great fighter. It was a great win. He got his credit for beating Errol Spence. That's what it is. But understand this. I'm not going to sit here and lie on, on nothing. And that's real talk. When it comes to this boxing, I'm going to speak the truth. I don't give a damn about views. I don't say shit for views. 
I don't care about none of that shit. I speak the truth. In boxing, I'm here to speak the truth. And that's it. I'm not here to do nothing else but speak truth and life in this game. And that's what it is. So if you can't deal with the truth, then what you need to do is don't watch my shit. Because boss gonna continue to speak that truth in this boxer game. That's what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone.